Hello, fellow alchemists. Welcome back to our series again on Live View. Now, I've been playing around with the new Phoenix Live View, uh, or at least the whole new Phoenix setup. I have a new project. Um, and I wanted to get the Bootstrap modal to actually work instead of the default modal that they have uh, within the Phoenix template. And so I managed to go ahead and get that going. And I wanted to show you guys how you can adjust your template. So you're using more bootstrap style if you like. Uh, so anyways, let's go ahead, let's get started. So I went ahead and I just did some very, very small tweaking. I just added some posts over here. Uh, this is just straight. Most of this comes from uh, the Phoenix Live Generator itself. All I did was just add a class of table to the table and it makes it look a little bit nicer. Now, here's the bad thing is that when you click on new post, you'll see that there's no nice styling anymore, but this still kind of works. And so to make this thing actually work fine, uh, all you need to do is add a couple of things to this file. So you should have this modal component, which gets generated when you use the live view generators. And we just need to tweak this just a little bit. Uh, for one, I removed this Phoenix modal. And now I just use modal fade show. So this is just some bootstrap classes that come when you have your modal. So now if we take a look, you'll see, you know, it's not quite working. Uh, we're missing something. Uh, we still have more to do anyways. The other thing we need to do is we need to also do, which is probably the big thing, which is the style display block. So once we have that, let's see, there we go. So that gets it kind of going. But now the HTML is also uh, not quite right. So we need to replace this with just model content. And we also need to give class model dialog. And we just basically kick this in a little bit. Like that. And now if we go back, you'll see we're nearly there. So the next thing we need to do to make this look a little bit nicer is we also actually need to wrap this, let's see, modal content. Oh, we also need to wrap this stuff into a modal body. Modal body. See how it looks now. So we're ne nearly there. Uh, what I would say is to start lining up this form properly. So you see this one's gonna be displaying the component. And that component is over here, the form component. And we just wrap this up with some form groups. And so I'm just gonna just copy paste all this just to make my life simpler. Take a look now, we're nearly there. Now we have a nice lineup. Now we just need to add the form control. Again, just copy these around too. And there we go, we're basically nearly there, right? So we can probably try to move this around, but I'm not gonna worry too much about that part. Um, but I will just go ahead and make this button look just a little bit nicer. So button, button primary, it's really more bootstrap style. Now the other thing too, is that you'll see that basically this is not really showing up any kind of validations right now, which is interesting. And that's because this is doing the form four. Actually, maybe missing the validations in general. So now if we, now if we add this here, 
see it all works properly now. So that's how you can get the modal to work properly uh, within Phoenix Live View. So this is Alan from Plangora. Please subscribe if you haven't. I will catch you guys next time. Thanks. Bye. Hi. Please feel free to ask us any questions about Elixir, Flutter, or anything else in programming. Here's our YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We'll answer your questions every Friday. Ya mantai ge duck man all. Yo wenti ji da wen wo.